I'm not denying anything, okay? Oh, but you want to leave and never see me again. Do you have any idea how hard this is for me? Then don't do it, sweetheart. It's not too late. Don't walk out that door. Quiet. Baby, she's okay, right? She moved. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. You could have just left. I missed this. You delivered a baby. I know. I can't. I'm shaking. <laughs> I can't either. Oh, man, you were so great. She's really beautiful and talented. Anybody who can get us to stop fighting for two minutes. <laughs> we didn't fight all the time. Yes, we did. And we ran that Rodeo Drive agency. We were a team then. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Sierra. What was your doll's name? Uh, Rose, but Sierra was mine. Private detectives by day. Girl band by night. We were ahead of the curve. Weren't we? Yes, we were. These <laughs> girls were awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was my best memory of growing up in the house. Yeah, it's, uh, it's too bad. What? That we couldn't stay like that. Yeah, maybe we can. Sierra Rose. That's gonna be your name. Fitz. <laughs> the south side of the observatory was a pretty steep drop off, so it's a good bet she went in another direction. Yeah, she can see in the dark. Oh yeah, we gotta hope. Okay, so, so we each take a direction east, west, north. Uh, Rex, do you have extra flashlight batteries in your car? Yeah, I'll leave you some. Leave? Uh, I got somewhere to be. What? We have half a mountain to cover. Yeah, we can really use some help, Rex. Yeah, I gotta find Gigi. Yeah, and if Stacy freezes to death, that's not your problem? You don't need me. There's your help. Rescue chopper. Here. We really need to evacuate. Where's your car? Oh, it crashed up the road. Oh, you, you gotta have a car, a, a Jeep or something. Where is it? Go. Wait, you hear that? What? It's a chopper. Oh. Okay, I'll flag it down. Nobody move. Oh, Engineer. Which, one? Which one's love it? That's me. He shot me, and the other one shot my daughter. We have wounded at the scene. We need medevac. What do we have here? Uh, abdominal bleeding. She's lost a lot of blood. I think she's going into shock. Who are you? Mitch Lawrence, close associate of Commissioner Wall. I'm happy for you. What? We don't work for Mr. Lowell. Kim. It's insane for you to try and go up that mountain all by yourself. It's much too dangerous. I can take care of myself. Been through a lot of blizzards on the side of a mountain, a have few. you? A few. Why do I get the feeling that you saw them while sitting in a ski lodge? Kim, now think about it. If you were to get lost, somebody would have to drop everything, go looking for you. And that takes time and resources away from searching for everybody who's there already. And contrary to what you may think, I would make sure they did look for you. Okay. Okay, what? You have a point. All right. Look, I know you're frustrated. We all are. But we're going to get good news very soon. Yeah, Stacy will be fine. And when Stacy gets back, she's going to need you. You're right. I should probably go rest anyway. I'm now so that, tired. Now, that is a good idea. And you know that I'm going to come get you if there's any news at all. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yourself. But you, you were. You, you could have stopped me. You wanted to believe and I wanted you to make it through the night. It wasn't your heart you were. I'm tough. So I've heard. I'm sorry. Don't be. You must really think I'm an idiot. I'm just glad you're okay. But what you did... It was nothing. 
When I was kissing Jared, he kissed me back. Yeah, he did. I did. You kissed me. Yeah. Even though you knew I thought you were Jared. Yeah. Why? Where are you headed? Up that mountain. Didn't you hear what Clint said? Yeah, he's just my boss at work. So what, you're just gonna sneak out? I don't want to worry him. He has enough on his mind. And if you really want to tell him, just go ahead. The least you can do is give me a head start. Maybe your friend Kim is right. I know that look. Oh, Clint, it's useless. We just sit here doing nothing. What, you, you think I don't want to go up that mountain and rescue those girls? Out in the garage, I have got a four-wheel drive truck that's practically an assault vehicle. And until tonight, I haven't had one reason to use it. Is it a full tank? I'd like to go out and bring our girls home, too, just like you, but we can't take chances like that anymore. When did you become so cautious? Uh, tonight. Look, Vicky, we are the only people that our granddaughter can depend on. Oh, God. I know. I know. I, I, know. I don't like to think about don't it. Don't even say it, okay? Don't. Look, we are... Bree's closest relatives, except for the girls. Mm -hmm. And I think that we owe it to Bree. I'm just so grateful she's in Texas, because I'm not very good at lying to her. Uh, and she's a sharp one, I know. You know, even on the phone, she keeps saying, where's Mommy? And she knows that I'm lying, but she doesn't really want to hear the answer. Well, this time you've got an answer, and the answer is Mommy's on her way home. Oh, God, if only she'd bring Natalie home with her. What? You look like hell. Thanks. I mean, you should get some sleep. Clint. I know that look, too. You should at least try and get some sleep, Clint. don't you think? I've just had it. You know, I'm, I'm just... Oh, it's like the trouble never ends. And we just sit here. We can't do anything. You have no grounds for holding me. I was shot. My daughter was shot. We have to get that young woman out of here now. Our orders were to take Mitch Lawrence into custody. Excuse me, I am Mayor Dorian Lord of Landview. That young lady bleeding out on the floor is the daughter of two high-profile citizens. Make a detour. Okay, who shot the girl? I did. He was aiming for me. It was all an accident, and if anyone is responsible... It's me! I did it, Dorian, and I will answer for it. We don't know where that helicopter's going. We still need to look for Stacy. She's too much ground to cover. It's a helicopter. It can cover more ground than any of us. Rex, they may not even see the signal. You're really just going to ditch this woman in the snow? I didn't do that. Stacy is not my responsibility anymore, okay? That's you. It should have been you all along, but the two of you wanted to destroy me and Gigi instead. You are sick, selfish people. So you go. You, you save Stacy. I'm going to save Gigi from you.